Hello there everybody, my name is Oral Chaos, and welcome to the table. I hope you all have a good time. Uh, this is... Uh, Monday stream, I hope you all enjoy. I'm just gonna take a slight bit of time. Because I need to do a thing. See, this is too bright. It's too bright. I think that's fine. I, maybe it's too close. Maybe. Oh well. Uh, let's get into the game, and it's. Oh, <laughs> uh, that miss. I'll deal with that later. Get into the game. <sighs> hmm. Property. Yeah. Oh, camera, please. Yes, not. We continue. We sally forth. Oh, there it is. in auto there <sighs> hmm Talk. Can you believe this? The man jumped off a cliff at the behest of some statues of all things. Great. <clears throat> I myself have done Well, this great deeds require the occasional leap of faith. I myself might have done the same. And end up a stiff tangle of limbs on a forgotten beach. I prefer a measured step to a flailing leap, thanks. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Be that backpack. Ooh, there's lots of nice stuff. As you say, Madam Conduit. Ah. Arise, fair dead. Seize upon our enemies. I like the music of this game. Lodgy's turn. 
did night oil. Burning touch. Face the <laughs> unending darkness. Scarlet's turn. Cleanse. Enemies destroyed. Their leader said something about escaping with a stone. Stolen from this dungeon, I imagine. Can we get inside? Those thieves were more than petty criminals. <clears throat> Their leader gave life to the dead. What stone could they have been so keen on taking? Our orders. Our orders say to report to our contact in Sicile, not to waste precious time outside the city walls. Don't our orders also say to investigate Sicile for evidence of source? The dead rising from their graves surely qualifies. Independent, obedient. There we go. I think that was it. Into the dungeon we go. I'll take the bone, sure. Come on, mouse. Fire and catch. There. Or Rato. And I will take all the things. in protecting whatever's kept here. Yes, indeed. Um, maybe you can Better disarm to detonate it. that mine safely than trip over it myself. Over to this bone pile, we see nothing there. Murder rat for speed. Go back here, Reto. Die, 
If I'm in. There. Um, chest key. Nice. And we continue going. This seems to be broken. Ah. We'll eventually get to where we want to go. I've always heard there's typically more to a king's tomb than meets the eye. It could be a myth. Or it could be our lucky day. It's not either. Not a lucky day at all. It was empty. Let's see. Key, lockpick, or hammer? I'm never going to be able to open that. Unless I lockpick it. An X. Something to sell, I bet. And we continue on out of here. Well, what's <coughs> this I've spotted? Ah. I like the music in this game. Is there anything here? Nope. Attack the door. I can attack the door. We made short work of that door, but I don't imagine our weapons would survive such use for long. Noise. Fire resistance potion. That's cool. A rain scroll. Noise. We don't need a rain scroll. We just cast rain over here. Lockpicks, things, and go. Ongoing. Warrior rat. Stave of combat. Hello there, Mugs, Muggy, and crew. Careful now, that's a trap. How are you doing? Trap disarm toolkit. <laughs> How you doing, Muggy? Playing some Divinity Original Sin here. 
Nope. Maybe there's a key. Yeah, uh, I know. How is Skyrim? Just playing some original sin here. I learned some tips and tricks from uh, another from a let's player. I know all about the. Hey, if you want to level up quick, you should murder all the rats in this dungeon. That's what I've been doing. Oh. Bugs are fun, except when they're not fun. Then they suck. Door open. I want to explore a little bit. Let's see if we can find anything of use. Very, very interesting. And uh, let's uh, burning touch. Maybe fireball. Let's throw that in there. Then set it to blaze. Oh, puzzle solving. And it's a key. Interesting. That's another fireball scroll. Very nice indeed. <clears throat> we can go through this door here. I've spotted something interesting. Spotted something interesting. Yes, we we know. Thank you. Can't disarm it. Can't disarm that. I guess. Lost the barrel in. Lost the barrel there. Lost the ba box there. Aha! I've spotted something interesting. Yes, we know. Thank you very much, Roderick. Shh! I think I hear voices downstairs. The last thing we need is to surprise another angry summoner. Oh. Um, requires me. Follow me. I sense enemies nearby. My robes are soaked. You better hope there's no heat of a flame in this place. Oh, don't know that! Those cultists have been poking about for days! Oh. Oh, hey guys. Have fun dying. Feel the burn! Aha. Oh. 
puzzle. What's up, Serban? How you doing? Playing some Divinity Original Sin here. Come on, let me hit you, rat. Your experience points. That that didn't kill the rat. Feel the pain of my spade. Damn it. There, rat go. Die. <laughs> that rat deserves to live at this point. Yes, but now it's dead. <laughs> Buried mummy. Huh. Fireball scroll. The rat has experience points. And how you doing, Zerbin? What's up with you? Click. I know what that puzzle is. There was that chest there, now I want it, and I'm gonna get it. Actually, I already emptied it, so never mind. Damn it. Alright, this is where. Alright, disconnect them. You. Look there. You. There. Both of you go. Or not. Damn it. This is where Zol sucks at puzzles. This face here. Take the face. And just bitch forward a bit. Here we go, puzzle solved. Go in here, there's nothing in there. I thought there would be, but no. Is lots of stuff here though. There. Loot looted. This seems to be broken. Yes, thank you. Another stone door. Bone pile of stuff in it. Woohoo! Lucky find. Right. Open that door. Come on, Roddy. We're here. 
Come on, Scarlet. Through here. Buddy. Through here. And we will save the game here. Because this is the boss of this level. A living rat dares disturb the slumber of the dead. A thieving fool insults the sanctity of the grave. The bloodstone defiler, where is it? <clears throat> Who are you? Is he in her position? Strange indeed. Robed indeed. Your tricks will not save you from retribution, deceiver. The bloodstone, deliver it now, and I may deign to end you quickly. Who are you? In life, I toil to care for these holy grounds. In death, I protect them from profaners and poachers. The legacy of Cecile is mine to preserve. Her traitors are mine to destroy. Bloodstone, I know not. I suppose you only crept among these sacred tombs for leisure. I suppose you had no lust for the treasure of the dead. Ha! Run if you like, Defiler. Whichever way you take leads you to the grave. <clears throat> it's time to duel. Uh... Oh, my bag. <clears throat> Be Jen. Prodigy time. Waste not a drop of this precious oil. Burn. Well, the portation is easy. Roderick's turn. The time of your death is at hand. Death never dies, fool. Death in a thousand forms rules all. Well, that was easy. That's fine. And you burn. The time of your death is at hand. Aha. Healing potion. Augmenter. You guys have nothing. <sighs> and we go. That was pretty great. Auto save successful.
Hmm. That was the way we came. And we've found this portal here. Shovel. Found these crates. I love lucky vines. You say piece of trash, but something to sell, Roddy. Tell you stuff, eh? Calm down, Julius. Doesn't look, look like one of them walks to me. <laughs> Not a single old in sight, you know. Just hold your tongue with you, Bibius. Can't be too careful. We are sworn to protect Sightseal. Who are you? We're legionnaires, of course. On the lookout for orcs, for they've been attacking from the sea. God knows why they do it, but we stand firm. We of the Legion, liberators of Rivalon. Uh, <sighs> liberators of liquor, too, aren't we, old chum? <laughs> Shh! Just pipe down, will you, Bibius? The your liberators. Aye, a noble word for watchdog, that. For that is what we do. Watch over the local dogs that ever so often aim for one another's throat and separate them to keep the peace. Separate by the sword, that is. Best way to calm a wily dog is to neuter it. Ha! Spay for pay. Legion's motto. Just put a sock in it, will you, Bidious? Seems like you're enjoying a drink or two. Stood on the lookout for arrows and hands, bored stiff. Boredom's a demon, buddy, and booze is the demon hunter. <laughs> there. I do declare it's time for this hunter to take another shot. <laughs> what do you want to know? About Councillor Jake. Oh, so, it's Jake you're looking for. <laughs> Ship sailed on that one, I'm afraid. Fellow's dead. Murdered. Can't tell you much more, except that I heard he was found face down in a puddle of blood, being used as a water fountain by his own pet mongrel. Uh, they say twas his wife that did it, and I'd bet a bottle of brandy they're right. A devilish flirt, that one. As if that proves anything! Just keep your trap shut, will you, Bibius? Oh, I like these guys. Bunch of barbaric bastards, a lot of them! They'll kill your spouse and eat your children. We've been putting up a fight against them, to be sure. But they have the strength of an ox in every single one of their fingers. Takes an army to dress down a dozen. Well, we did bring a legion. Just bite your lip, will you, Bibius? Soy seal, yes. Where fishermen come to live and street dogs come to die. Now, which of the two would you be, then? Just cut the cackle, will you, Bibius? Now then, stranger, if it's the city of Sausil you're looking for, you're heading in the right direction. Even though most folks are trying to escape rather than reach the damn place these days. Not that I could blame them. This place is cursed, I tell you. First the dead rise from their graves, and then entire tribes of orcs sound the trumpets of war. You take to the rifleless. Raid. Bartlett has stuff. And... A 
My boy here has all the stuff. Cloth cap, I don't need that. No. Hair, I don't care. No. Uh, I'm lone wolfing this for sure. We are here on Source Hunter's business. Here are our orders. Sir, you're Source Hunters, aren't you? And how are we supposed to verify that's true? We can't read. So for all we know, those papers say you're a polymorph parrot on the lookout for a two-bedroom birdcage. They don't prove a thing. You know what? We'll take you two to the wizard. I know he reads. He has books large as a house, that one. Yeah, he'll squeeze the truth out of you one way or another. <laughs> <coughs> the wizard, you say? Sounds good the to me. The wizard, you say? Sounds good to me. Lead the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me? I'm not going to be pushed around by two inebriates. I say we sober them up and quickly too. Do me a favor and calm down, would you? Wouldn't you want you to get hurt? For the entire city. No! Killing these men may anger the entire city. Uh, can I go back? You'd let these lowly grunts order us around? I thought you had more pride than that. Very well, have it your way. You defy the Legion, will you? Um... Can I not do that? Actually, you know what? These guys are worthless scum anyway, so... You're doing what you didn't want to do. Yes. Roddy. Midnight oil! I love how it's called Midnight Oil. Scarlet, Abby, hit it. Well, there we have it. Two dead legionnaires. This feels wrong. We really shouldn't have. This feels have. wrong. We really shouldn't have. Don't be so soft-hearted. Compassionate, heartless. Ah. Just being contrarian with all my stuff here. Wooden air... Oh, and I get all my stuff that I sold them. Because of course I did. Of course I do. Uh, um... Available, I guess, even more intelligence. More intelligence. 
defense. Skills. Craftsmanship. Personality. Bartering. Uh, I'll save points for that. Religions. <clears throat> I'll save those points. Contrarians, a lot of them. Roderick's turn. Even a little helps. Teleport you into this, right? That's right. Body. Kill him. Feel the pain of my Divine section. Heal Roderick. Roderick. Burn it. Stave of combat. Scarlet. Can't hit him.
I'm back here. Roderick. Can't do that. Damn it, Roderick. Human commander. Well, and how very curious. They hear the fight. And how very disquieting. Um, they didn't hear the fight because they're dead. Welcome to the table. What's all this ruckus? Sounded worse than a dozen tomcats fighting over the world's last mackerel. Hello there. Ah, but I see we've suffered another orc landing. And judging by the relative ease with which it was dispatched, I can it's only come doing, to one conclusion. I'm doing well. Source the hunters have arrived well. in Sicil. You're as welcome as a glass of cooled milk on a hot day, my friend. I'm Ahu, at your service. It was I who requested your presence in this troubled city. Somebody. So you were, and so you weren't. Behold, there we are. Meet my other half, Hunter. Ha <laughs> ha! No need to look so flabbergasted. I may be a wizard rife with tricks and guile, but I assure you, my plea is an earnest one. Actually doing well with mages. So, now that the cat is out of the bag, let us turn to the matter of Counselor Jake's murder. Well, I require to sell all the things. Like the arrows... Uh, the love grenade I don't care about. Literally all of this. That arrowhead. These shafts. Here you can have that too. All these branches that you can just have. Have that too. Tell me more about it's hard to put my finger on it, but I can feel in my very whiskers that sorcery was at play. Visit the scene of the crime, and I bet sardines for salad you'll say the same. Thirsty. Captain Aureus, though, the local commander of the Legion, insists I'm seeing ghosts. I insist he's blind to all but the undead. Where can I find the scene of the Jake crime? was murdered in a downstairs room of the King Crab Inn, up in Sicil proper. The Legion keeps it under lock and key, though, so you'll need Aureus's permission should you want to have a peek. <clears throat> I assume there so are there some are, suspects. Or rather, there is. Popular opinion has it his wife did the deed. But to be frank, I have my doubts. She seems a likely candidate, to be sure, but that would make her a sorceress. 
Esmeralda knows how to charm, yes, but I just don't see her magic extend beyond a frolicsome look and wink. Still, don't simply take my word for it, Hunter. It may be well worth your while to cross-examine her yourself. The Legion has her under guard in her shop near the town square. That's where you'll find poor Jake's widow. <clears throat> a human, you say? Truly? But that would be like a kitten leading a wolf pack. And yet, I have heard rumors about a sect of sorts, a shadowy set of worshippers that associate even with orcs. Some say they're sorcerers, but people will say that about anyone who behaves a bit strangely nowadays. I don't quite know what to make of this news, but thank you for informing me. It'd be foolish to dismiss such a curious event out of hand. Where exactly is the trouble you're having with the undead? Ah, the undead. They've been clawing their way out of the ground for two years now. And for two years, the stalemate between them and the living has been dragging on at a weary pace indeed. The Legion did a good job keeping them at bay, but I think it's fair to say that without my magic-infused ballastay, they'd have gotten the better of us by now. Someone is responsible for the outbreak. Necromancers are at work, but who are they and where do they hide? Alas, that searching for them is like searching for a single louse in a lion's mane. Unfortunately, that is absolutely correct. The orc siege is yet another hairball stuck in this city's already choking throat, and it shows no signs of abating. We've cordoned off the western beach where most orc activity has been reported. For the nine lives of me, I can't seem to figure what they're doing here. There's nothing of interest along the waterfront, except for a set of caves with an unfavorable reputation. Maybe they're after some pirate's treasure, the fools. <laughs> oh, but that's not a trick. It's a blessing. Or does it surprise you that I enjoy taking a feline guise? Such magic is a gift, Hunter. To tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech, perhaps humanity's greatest asset, cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. To be out in the night, to stalk on silent paws and hunt with only the moon as your witness. You couldn't possibly imagine the thrill. But of course, it's handy to speak in more than meows. And I couldn't brew potions or make machines without opposable thumbs. This I freely admit. Let's just say I have found a way to enjoy the best of two worlds. I'm these. glad we've met Source Hunter, and I'm certain we have a lot more to talk about. Feel free to visit me whenever you want. I've set up a workshop in the Legion's headquarters. Once you're there, just take the stairs, but do pay a visit to Aureus first. He may bark like a beagle with its tail stuck in the door, but you won't get very far in your investigation without speaking to the de facto leader of Saisi. And with that, I bid you adieu, Hunter. Adieu and good luck. May your enemies prove to be mere mice and you the dauntless mouser. <coughs> I'm going to be real with you. I'm cooking dinner, so I'm only able to listen. I was wondering why this character was making so many cat buns. Yes, because uh, that character is a wizard. Uh, is in a specific game. We're gonna need more than a few buckets to save her. We're gonna need more than a few buckets to save her. Come on, man, put your backs into uh, it. I'm, I'm tripping. Who? Save the boat by raining on it. Steady, boys. Steady. We'll be leaving as soon as we're packed up. I 
am seeing uh, two feet approaching me, and <gasps> here you are. My powers astound even me. I'm Bull, the Bull, the leading clairvoyant in Psy Seal. The two feet never bother to ask, but I see all that is and is to be. Yeah, tell me my of course, most winsome two feet. Of course. Uh, what would you like to know? Why, yes, most wealthy indeed. Uh, but you must be vigilant, two feet, for I see that your wealth will come by bloody means. Well, that depends, two feet. That depends. I see that love has caused you to falter in the past. Yes, falter dearly. You must reconcile your mistakes before you will find true love. Hmm, death. Ever the most difficult topic to foretell. I see, I see. Oh, oh dear, no. Uh, no, your reading is over, do you hear? Over. Well, tuck my tail and call me Bessie. A two feet address me directly? Huh, I thought I'd never see the day. Don't know what you said to upset Bull, but don't worry about it too much. Being in tune with the flow of time takes a lot out of him. Oh, me and my brother Bull have dragged this here cart all around Sisiel, from dock to graveyard and back again. <laughs> uh, bulls are adorable. <laughs> These gates are to remain closed at all. Well, I'll be a little red imp's uncle, the Source Hunter. Sorry for the gruff treatment. I didn't recognize you. You can see security's tighter than ever around here since that surprise attack the orcs put on a fortnight ago. We can only hope to hold back the undead and these left field orc attacks long enough for reinforcements to arrive. Do I leave? Uh, did I get. Yes, I did. And so I go. Moving up to the main thoroughfare. It's I seal. There is a treasure chest that I can't get to just yet. Maybe. Just maybe. Eventually get to where I need to go to. You there! A moment of your indulgence, if you please. You are the source hunter, are you not? The hero, the whole of Sysiel is a buzz about. The talk of the town, the juiciest grape on the grapevine. Such a pleasure to meet you, a delight. No, scratch that. It is so much more than a delight. It is an intervention of fate. Yes, that's it. Fate has put me on this very spot so I may tell you all about a most intriguing opportunity indeed. Need to sell you stuff. Maybe. Uh, and you are... at your service. What is my profession? Well, I'll tell you what it used to be. And that is a man of medicine. 
But what does a man of medicine do but mend what has first been broken? I save lives, to be sure, but today I change them. What opportunity? They call the undead a problem, my friend, but those who know the ways of the fabulous five see no problems. They see opportunities. An enterprising spirit can wrench riches from cold dead rocks. Or from cold dead full stop. Oh, it's not merely an opportunity. It is a once in a lifetime chance to become better. To become the full extent of the promise that is locked inside of each and every one of us. So first of all, let me ask you this question. Do you like adventure? Provision not. Of course I do. How could someone in my profession not? Quite right. Adventure is what we live for. See here. You and I share the same passion. I never doubted it for a moment. The thrill of walking the unbeaten path. The rush of finding yourself in a goblin ambush, knowing you'll prevail nonetheless. Hmm, too bad your line of work comes with such measly recompense. Am I right? The wage of a mere soldier. Now, between you and me, tell me truthfully, don't you sometimes wish you could earn more? It's a bit heavy. Well, I can't say that I haven't. Yes, some extra gold is always welcome. Indeed. Indeed, gold is always welcome. And among the fabulous five, gold flows as freely as water does to the sea. Even so, my friend, matters of a pecuniary nature aside, what is life without variety, without spice? To be a source hunter must get frightfully dreary sometimes. Am I right? All those orders. Investigate this, retrieve that. And at the end of the day, what do you have to show for it? Wouldn't you prefer to call your own shots? Be your own boss? <laughs> you can follow. It's better to lead than to follow. That much is true. Better to be served than to serve. I concur. Well spoken. Well said indeed. Life's too short to spend it doing someone else's bidding. Am I right? Of course I am. And I could help you attain the dream. Enact the change you deserve. And that is exactly why I am here. Why fate has put me right by the door to the King Crab. So that I could meet you and tell you about the marvel that is the fabulous five. The invitation to join is yours. Grab it. Tell me more. Oh, the fabulous five. How I enjoy simply saying the words that describe the most illustrious and celebrated adventurer's guild in Rivalon. Our mission, to better the world. Our mantra, to better ourselves as we do so. To realize our dreams and cleanse our souls. You'd like nothing more than to enlist, wouldn't you? Of course you would. And you can. Of course. If you still have questions, I shall answer them to the best of my abilities. But if not, how about we get started? So, what a gem of a question. Straight as an arrow, sharp as a switchblade. Most meritorious of you. Now then, to join the Fabulous Five is to join a fellowship, to join a fraternity, a sorority, a community. The title of Knight is bestowed upon you the moment you sign our waiver, and so it all begins. I shall be the one to give you your first contracts, and once the job is done, I shall see to it you get your fair share of the reward. Of course, should you spread the word, should you propagate the gospel of the Fabulous Five, and thereby draw new knights into our fellowship, you will get a share of the reward from their contracts, too. Isn't that wonderful? 
By now, the genial glow of the Fellowship must have warmed your heart. It has, hasn't it? But did I say Fellowship? I mean family. For like a family, we support one another, cheer one another, see each other through thick and thin, partake in glory and defeat, work hard, fulfill contracts, enlist new knights, and swiftly shall you rise through the ranks. You will better yourself. You will better Rivalon. You will make the stars shine all the brighter. And you'll get fabulously wealthy in the process. What's not to like? Okay, to be perfectly honest, this guy sounds like a multi-level marketer. Um, yeah. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. All you need to do is sign this waiver, and just like that, snap! You're part of the family. All I need is your lovely little autograph. What do you say? Join a guild, better the world, earn a lot of gold. Yes, count me in. You'd fall for this foolish scheme. Gods, you're gullible. <laughs> we must think of our own futures. The order of source hunters will not provide for us forever. Are you telling me this is not the most double fake? No, no, we'll do as I say, and there's marvelous, magnificent. Oh, but what am I saying? Fabulous is the word. You may not realize it yet, but your fortunes. Your very life is about to change for the better. So let us not dilly-dally. To business. Your first assignment is ready and waiting if you're ready and willing. Oh, it's a pretty straightforward task, this one. Now, in this town dwells a wizard. Ahu is his name, and he's a frightful eccentric. Scientific type, you know the kind. Favors reason over faith and all that. Not Fabulous Five material, him. His experimental weapons may keep a couple of skeletons away from the city, but many of his other researches failed. Malfunction with tragic consequences. One of them was a big lumbering apparatus, a frightful automaton shaped like a giant made of steel. It was supposed to crush the undead by the dozens, piloted as it was by a trained legionnaire. But you can guess what happened. Did it become sentient? Was it cursed? Whatever the cause, the thing relieved itself of its pilot and headed north towards a network of caves. Now ask yourself, what if it comes back? It could smash the city walls and claim a hundred lives before being subdued. Luckily, there are those in this world who belong to the Fabulous Five. The Braves who eat such monstrosities for breakfast. Dark. All right. That's where I will save. And I will end the stream. So. Thank you all very much for coming. My name is Zorok Chaos, and we will uh, raid someone. I think we will. Raid Kuretsu. Thanks very much for everyone coming by. I'm Zoro Chaos. Thank you for bye. I'll see you all Wednesday and I hope you have a good one.